My name's James Redwood. I'm a composer and music leader on this project. And talking to you here at the start of the final culmination day, we're gearing up to give our big performances at the end of the project. So in a lot of these projects, we don't actually get the orchestra until the final day. And what was great about yesterday was having the orchestra in from lunchtime meant that the young people were just were exposed for longer to that orchestral sound world and getting used to what it sounded like when their instrumental pieces were accompanied by this 16-piece orchestra. As always, having the Symphonia Viva musicians in the workshops is essential to the whole process. But having Matt and Tim has been brilliant. They're such versatile musicians. They're really stretching the young people to make music that wouldn't be possible unless we were all in the room together. We're making something that is only possible because all of the young people, staff, teachers from the schools, me and the musicians from Viva, when you then add in the orchestra and the venue and the lighting, and at every stage we're just cranking it up and making it exciting and more expressive, bigger. My name is Rachel Wilkes and I lead the singing team for the Derby and Derbyshire Music Partnership and I've been involved with the Symphonia Vida project by helping the audience schools learn the songs. I've, I've been so impressed with how the children have accepted the songs, listened to them and really learned um, how to sing them. So we went to a training session before Christmas where some of the teachers were there from the audience schools and we, we had a, a first listen to and go through the songs which was, which was really good fun. It was at Derby Museum and the uh, Rolls-Royce guys were there and so they did the, um, some of the practical science bits of the, of the project. And then basically the schools had the resources and they were taken away um, to start learning the songs. This morning I was just heard for the first time what the, the two schools on the stage had done. Very impressed with instrumentally what they've been doing and how well it all fits together um, to make the performance this afternoon. Orchestras Live has had a partnership with um, Derby for many years um, and we have been involved as a co-producer and supporter of Symphonia Viva's um, residences since the beginning. Um, we've traced that journey through all this collaborative work with young people, with communities in Derby uh, and we're very proud to have been part of that journey with the orchestra um, in developing a style of collaborative work which has become nationally renowned. So this project has been like many of the, the Viva Residency projects in that it's had a very clear theme and a collaboration with local either history or um, industry. I think the collaboration with Rolls-Royce, the STEM theme has been really interesting, typically innovative for Symphonia Viva. Um, and I think the way that the essence of the science has been transformed into artistic work, into songs, into pieces, has been very imaginative and I thought this afternoon's performance was really good. I love the way uh, that the young people are involved both as performers, uh, instrumentalists, but also as singers, vocalists. So they've been involved in a variety of artistic disciplines. It was great to see the audience also singing in the songs that clearly they'd been learned and tutored by, by the uh, Derby and Derbyshire Music Partnership. We're introduced to the project first in college. Yeah. Really powerful, a yeah. great experience all around. Just yeah. in the really end. professionally done and just a great yeah. chance to get to play with some absolutely amazing musicians mm, and talented people yeah, yeah it's brilliant I was part of the group that wrote mm. Gravity and that was really like just fun writing it as a yeah. group and come uh, up yeah I, I did Diabolicus that was a really fun process to build because it was just came from nothing a little bass thing to a big huge it sounded really awesome too yeah so. <laughs> <laughs> James is awesome James is he's, he's fantastic He's great with young guy, ones, yeah. but he's also great with like us as well. Mm, he knows how to talk to everyone. Yeah. And he is captivating because mm. the way he moves and talks on the table. Mm. He's like, just, I think it's given me, it's helped me with my confidence in music quite mm -hmm. a bit, I think, and just generally like confidence with playing with other people. My name is Frank Zielhorst, and um, I'm a conductor, orchestral conductor. And this is my first project uh, with Symphonia Viva, the Mechanical Advantage. 
It's been a really amazing project so far. We've been working with the young people, working on their songs that they've composed themselves and uh, working with the orchestra. I mean, the energy of the young people is so amazing and they, that really lifts the orchestra. You can really feel that the orchestra is very experienced in, in, in doing this type of project. But I think I, I've never experienced something like this before, where the, where the young people are so close together, where we can inspire the young people and the young people can inspire us. When we were programming the pieces for this performance, we of course wanted to have some pieces for the orchestra alone as well. And then looking at what the STEM subjects, what they are about, it's quite hard to find good music to go with that. But we found this fantastic piece, it's called Adjustable Wrench by Michael Torkey. It, it is sort of mechanical, you hear gears go, going around, there's three different groups in the orchestra and, and that, makes, that, that fits really well with the, the subject, the mechanical advantage. You're always wondering how it's going to go, whether everything's going to slot together. Frank led a brilliant rehearsal and made sure that we did all of the bits that we needed to do. And we got through it all in the morning and the performances have just been brilliant. Um, the afternoon was just very, very exciting to have the young singers in the audience because they'd spent a lot of time and energy learning the songs and they sang them beautifully. And we did, and they absolutely nailed it, the performance for the, for the parents. And the energy was just absolutely there. It was really, really exciting. Really nice to do the gig in a kind of sort of evening, grown up performance kind of context, having the interval, it all sort of felt like a proper concert. Um, and having an audience that we were performing to um, was really great. It was excellent. It was a great time, it was a great experience that we all had. Um, the children absolutely loved it. Um, from the moment they set foot on stage, they were kind of like, wow. Um, and then they enjoyed watching the orchestra and then their piece towards the end, they really enjoyed as well. Fantastic, brilliant, I can do it all over again if I can. I thought it was a really, really good evening. It's always great to see the end of these projects when everything comes together and you see how the kids have interpreted the things that you've given to them and how they've drawn on the other things we're going on with the museum and how they've worked with James. Fantastic. Um, it's the sort of thing that I remember at school, having lots of different ways of learning things and bringing them all together. So I really like the combination of music and either maths or science as a way of getting through different concepts and having a bit of fun while you're at it and I think the Symphony of Eva guys are really good at bringing that out in the children and therefore them sort of learning by stealth or by accident almost and that's what I really loved about the songs that actually the words really mean something the ones they've written mean something to them and the sort of science based ones you know, mean something to us and hopefully that's something they can take away. Oh,